Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can connect AWS Lambda with DynamoDB. Basically, we will try to insert some data from Lambda to DynamoDB. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about this fundamental concept of DynamoDB, which is new SQL database completely managed by AWS and very popular service. Okay. I will be showing you lots of application with this database also. So let us try to understand how we can integrate Lambda and DynamoDB, okay? So for that first I will go to DynamoDB and I will create a table first, okay? I will be going to tables and I will click on create tables and here I will be giving table name demo yt first, okay? Partition key, okay, maybe in our table I will be giving partition based on roll number and that will be number type, okay? Right, sort key I am not mentioning. Right, keeping default setting and here I am creating the table. Okay, so here it is creating the table. Only row number is our partition key. That's all we configured. Okay, it will be taking some time to set up this particular table. Okay, till then we can go to AWS Management Console in a new tab and we can create IAM for Lambda to access the DynamoDB tables. Okay, so default Lambda rules will not have that permission to read and write. Okay, so that kind of thing we need to give. So I will be going to roles and here I will be going to create roles and then here I will be going to lambda and if, because for lambda we want to create the role, right? I will be going to permissions and here I need first CloudWatch always like we generally do. Okay, CloudWatch full access. Apart from that, new member is DynamoDB. Okay, the search. AWS DynamoDB full access. Okay, I am giving full access, but for this particular demo, to insert the data from Lambda to DynamoDB, only write permission is sufficient actually. But I am giving for full permission. You can explore other permissions if required. I am going to next steps and then next review. I am giving the name. Lambda role Dynamo. And then here I am creating the role. Okay. Till then, let's see whether the table is created or not. Yes, the table is successfully created. So, we can use this particular table to insert the data, right? So, all I will do, here role is also created. I will be going to back my AWS Management Console. And here I will be going to Lambda. And here I will be creating a function, author from scratch, okay? YT Dynamo Demo, okay? I am choosing Python 3.9 for this particular demonstration. Change the default execution role. Yes, I want to change the role. Already an existing role just now what we created. That is this particular one I am using. Okay, right. And then here I will create the function. Okay, right. And it is created. Cool. So what will be the code? The code I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section also. Very simple code. What we are doing? First, we are reading this, importing JSON and Boto3. Boto3 is required to create the client for our DynamoDB for Lambda, right? And then here we are basically creating our Lambda function, passing the event and context as default arguments in the function. And then here we are creating the client for DynamoDB. And then here we are pointing that client for this particular table. And then we are using put item function to basically ingest or insert the data whatever is present in event okay so event as you know it comes as json so we can simply load the json in our NoSQL database right and then we are returning done if this particular try block is throwing exception due to some reason we are basically going to accept block and we are raising the exception and we are getting out of the code that is if the condition is not happening properly it will be raising the exception okay right so this is just for demo purpose you can handle the exception in a better way I am not wasting much time. All I need to do that original table name I have to give. So the table name is demo yt first. I will be taking that. I will be pasting that here. That's it. Okay. So now I will deploy this. Right. And then let's test it out. I will go to test section. And here three value pairs are there. Right. So first one is roll number. Okay. Which is basically our primary key. Okay. So maybe let me give 10. Okay. Then another I am giving name, okay. The value part I am giving Soham, okay. Then I am giving university, okay. I am giving uh, KIT, okay. 
right? So this is kind of JSON data, and we can click on test. Let's see whether you are getting correct result or it is throwing error. No, exhibition is green color. That means done. It is successful. If we go back to our tables, DynamoDB here. If I go to few items, as you know that items are nothing but rows of our DynamoDB. Here it is perfectly displaying. Okay, let us do one more time testing. I'll be giving roll number. I'll be changing that to some other value because roll number cannot be duplicated because that is primary key or partition key we set it for our table. Name I am giving Rajdeep. Okay, Sue, right? And university I am giving PIT. And for this particular one, maybe one more. Uh, extra key we want to add that is address. Okay, and then here I am giving building, right? Okay, cool. Now let's test it out. So as you know, in MySQL there is nothing called proper schema. So as we have added address, so it will be only added in the last bit that is for this particular roll number, only for this particular item, not for so on. Okay, this is the advantage of MySQL. Over SQL, right? So if I refresh this particular one here, maybe it is showing. Mm, I will be going back here, and I'll go to tables. I'll be going to this one. I'll go to few items, and here it is still showing this one. Let's see what happened. So it is done, right? Maybe let me refresh this particular page once. So see here, second item roll number twenty also coming. Address is Delhi. Name is Rajdeep Singh. University is VIT. So address for Soham was not mentioned. No issue. It is only displaying for Rajdeep because this particular key is present for Rajdeep, right? So this is how simply you can integrate Lambda with DynamoDB, right? All you need to know that this is the way how you create the client and you use put item function to insert the data. That's it. Okay. I will provide in the code in the description box also. If you want to know the fundamental concept of DynamoDB, please go through the link given in the description box where I explained in detail some fundamental terminologies and concepts of DynamoDB that will be surely helping you to understand further concepts in DynamoDB, this popular NoSQL database. Okay, thank you for watching.